Hello everyone, Stu here and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today you join me just off the I-90 on our way to Thompson Falls in Montana, coming from Coeur d'Alene in Idaho. We've been called out to go pick up a stranded bus on the back roads over here. So let's pull out of here while the roads are nice and quiet. If you are a returning viewer, then welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, then it's great to have you along with us all today. Please stick around to the end and let's see if we can find this bus and then take it to safety. Today we're driving the Mack Superliner 77 day cab. I'd like to have brought a wrecker with me today to do this job, but that was having some technical issues. So let's see if this old girl has what it takes to get the bus out of trouble. Let's have a look at this beautiful truck from the outside. Well, happy Saturday to you all and well done for making it through another week. The last few weeks for me have been so busy and I'll tell you some of the reasons for that on the journey today. So let's talk about the truck. Well, it's the Max Superliner mod and it's based on the 1977 model. Oh, we're getting a little bit of CB radio feedback there. It, this one is equipped with a 350 horsepower engine, which is pretty pedestrian. The reason I chose to have quite an underpowered engine is that I've got the Z-Mods engine pack, and that's for the ENDTB engine, which sounds really amazing in my opinion. So I decided to sacrifice some real horsepower today for engine sound. But hopefully it has the get up and go to help this bus out of a ditch or whatever is wrong with it. So as we come around the corner, the bus is coming into view and we can see now it's a massive coach. Wow, this is going to be a job. Let's pull up behind the bus and we'll switch off and check the damage here. So according to the driver, there was a front suspension failure and you can see it here. The front axles have folded back completely on this side and you can also see how the bus has been lifted on these crates and this looks super dangerous. And over on this side, well, it's completely removed the tires from the rims and we can see right through to the Monroe shock absorbers there. Well, I guess we best get back to the truck and try to get this towed out of here. And as I said, we don't have the wrecker today, so it's going to have to be this day cab and we can attach the front of the bus to it, hopefully. We've not got a lot of room to manoeuvre here, we're quite close to the edge of the cliff so we better be careful. Time to get up close and personal with some of these rocks. Let's stop here, take a little look from behind and luckily we can use this cone as a guide. And that's probably close enough where we are. So let's drop the suspension down. And after a lot of jacking of the bus, we got it connected. So let's raise the rear airbags and do a tug test to see if all is well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. The next issue we have is that we've got no way to turn this round in the road here. So we're going to have to take the long route along the trail ahead there. So it's going to be an interesting one, I'm sure. Let's try and pull forward and oh, the bus is really heavy. It's pulling us back. Now this first part of the road is fairly narrow and quite weak. So we need to take this part really easy. 
This truck's fitted with the Maxi Torque 5 speed, which, although authentic, is, as you would expect, quite slow and with really tall gear ratios, and it has incredibly slow shifts as well. But that's trucking from the 1970s, I guess. Well, that's the first hurdle complete, and I hope you've been doing good since my last trucking video. It's usually the time where we can slow things down a little bit on the channel, have a chat, and take things at a slower pace. For those that don't know, I work a fairly busy full-time job, and I run a couple of small businesses in my spare time as well, and I've just been so busy lately with all of that. It's a good thing, but it means, of course, I've not got the same time to dedicate to making YouTube videos. Okay, we're approaching the first bridge here, so let's take this one nice and easy as well. And have a little look from the outside. What beautiful scenery we have here in Montana. And this old truck is pulling this huge coach just fine. This engine only puts out 350 horsepower but it develops just short of 1,300 pound-foot of torque, so that might be our saviour today. Let's put our window down here, have a look out the back, and check the bus is well clear of the tree. And it is. This bridge along here looks fairly dodgy. So let's crawl over this one carefully. We don't want to get this coach stuck. Oh, check out this on the left hand side. I thought it was a road, but it's actually looks like an abandoned mine shaft, which is really cool. It kind of reminds me of old Scooby Doo episodes, where the villain was always unmasked, hiding down an abandoned mine shaft or somewhere like that. So another in real life thing is that I'm in the market for a car and I'm sure you know all about the lack of supply and the cost of cars at the moment. So I've got an idea of a couple of used models that I have in mind so hopefully by the end of October, all being well, I'll have that in my possession. I haven't bought a car in a good while and so my oldest one could do with being replaced now. I think it's time. So hopefully I can pick up one of the few that I've been looking at lately. I almost forgot to mention, this is the Montana map for ATS, which is the latest and greatest state released for American Truck Sim. It's really wonderful, has a few of these back roads and small trails, as well as the usual interstates, and it looks really fantastic. Well worth buying if you're thinking of upgrading your American Truck Simulator base game. This is what I would call a high stakes bridge here, so let's stop and take a look so that we can be sure we can clear this. I know the tractor can get over no trouble, but it's the bus that I'm worried about. If the bus misses one of the planks, then it's going to pull us down the mountain. So let's ensure that we don't mess this one up and take our time. Let's take it real easy. The truck is bumping about here. Watch the mirrors, make sure we're heading over here dead straight. The bus seems to be doing well. I think we've made it. Yep, we've done it. I'm glad that one's out of the way. Well, I hope the bus company are paying us well for this. 
the old Superliner will certainly be due an oil change after this one for sure. I almost forgot to say, I have a Discord and the link for that is in the video description. Please feel free to join the Discord to say hello to me and, and other members of my super friendly community. And of course, we run our community convoys from there, so you are absolutely welcome to come along and join us anytime you like. We're now heading into the darkness here as the sun is beginning to set in Montana. Just take a look at that sky. And a few miles later, we've finally made it to Thompson Falls. Now all we have to do is drop off the bus at a local auto repair shop. <laughs> I love the horn on this thing. And wow, Thompson Falls is a ghost town in the wee small hours of the night here. Well, we made it to the repair shop. I've backed the bus in there. And then it's back home along the track to get the Superliner parked away for the night. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I love trying to show you something a little bit different in the sim and I'd highly recommend this mod truck. I've put a link for it in the description if you're interested. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this and of course feel free to subscribe to the channel. Until the next one, take care.